Okay, if we are all done, uh, well, let's continue with the, with the next session that is uh, the configuration of L2 services over neutral. What we are going to do here is something similar to what we have done in the, in the previous session, that is first deploy a Neutron over the server B. For those of you uh, uh, not attending the previous session, uh, what we have in, in, in the laptop em environment is two virtual machines, okay? okay? Server XA and server XB. Just log in, replace the X for the number you see on your, on your machine, okay? You can log into your machine with a student and student, okay? Not too tricky. And uh, what we are going to do is to uh, deploy a network node over the server B, okay? So how we are going to do that with Packstack? For those of you in the previous session, it's the same, the same first step we were doing before. Just go to server A, okay? In the, in the root, you will see that there is a answer.txt. So just edit that with whatever your preferred text editor. <laughs> okay, and we, we have just to change the, as, uh, the host, the IPs we are going to use for deploying a Neutron. That are going to be the, the IPs of the server B on the management network. That for us, if you see that we have a X plus 100, just add to your host number 100. So if you have host one, it's 101, okay? So, so let's, let's look for config neutral server host, okay? And just replace it for the one of uh, server B. And the same for metadata host. So just replace that. For those of you not, not familiar with, uh, with Packstack, what we are doing is just uh, to play with, with an answer file. You can generate it, surely you know, but with this, with Packstack gen and the path. And what we are going since uh, this is located here, or should be. <laughs> yeah, well, what we are going to do is to launch Packstack, okay, like this. Okay, like this, from the server, your server A. Okay, so just launch this. This is going to take uh, just some means. If you were on the previous session and have any question on the environment or whatever, just let me know. What? Yeah, yeah. You can you can use a pack stack as a deployer. So you you have the the, uh, the deployer node on server A, and you can execute it. Uh, you can define the environment on the answer file, so you can have as many as many nodes as you want defined there. So so you can deploy network node in in one machine, the controller node in another, one service in another machine, because you you can do whatever you want. It's quietly. And you can launch it from your, from your workstation. You don't need to launch it from the server that is going to be the controller. So we're doing everything on server A? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, repeat again. It's, it's yeah, this is, this is the, is, is, uh, these are just uh, a dummy environment. We have two machines, uh, but you can deploy it to whatever. I don't know if that's, that's your question. <laughs> yeah, but that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I see what you mean. What we are doing is uh, deploying OpenStack over a virtual environment. But usually, you will not have these virtual machines. What you will have is two physical machines. That's, 
Yeah, yeah. KVM allows you to do that. So you can run virtual machines over uh, KVM, to, uh, over a virtual machine running KVM. That is. So you can you have. Yeah, that is that is. Although uh, usually for the for, for the controller node, uh, usually mo most of the people deploy it on a virtual machine running on, on a virtualization solution. You don't need a, a, a physical machine there. Yeah, because it's. It's, it's like two gigs or yeah yeah usually usually what people is doing is if you have a, a database environment that is the, the one you, you you have in your infrastructure just create the the dbs there the one for every open stack service and just keep a uh, keystone or is on dummy stuff on the well no dummy stuff the services the core services on the on the on the controller but with two gigs or four gigs so. Yeah, the, the other. All, the, all except Neutron. Indeed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Neutron, neutron always should, should run on, on a physical machine. Yeah, always, yeah. And it, it's recommendable to have eight to, si to 16 gigs and a good an SSD gigs locally. Yeah, on computer you, you, you have to put there as much resources and as good as you can, yeah. Yeah, usually, usually, usually when you when you talk about compute nodes, you have different uh, generation of compute nodes. So right now in, in in I don't know if in Havana or Grizzly you can uh, set up like host groups, so you can provide to your user different qualities depending on the on the group of compute nodes that they are using. So you can have, for example, all ones with AGX and SATA disk. 10, 10k and then have new ones with uh, 48 cores and an SSD so it's like like that like that yeah you need you need at least uh, at least two CPUs two cores and I, I suppose four gigs or so it depends if, if yeah, in the memory, the, the amount you provide is the amount you are going to be able to use in the in OpenStack. So if well, if, if you have just dummy dummy machines like the like the Amazon free tire, so <laughs> you can maybe get something, but it's not. Uh, yeah. This is running in OSP, uh, Red Hat OpenStack 4.0. That is Havana. The Havana and over Red, Red, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.5, but as Rob said, we are, I think we are going to release uh, soon, <laughs> soon than later the the Ice House one. Well, so, okay, okay, so we are done with the. We are done. We have set up the, the network the network node using Packstack. So well it is is quite similar to the previous so we if we go here here you can see all the all the services that ha, have been set up on the uh, yeah on the server B yeah let me see what it has, has done yeah on the B sorry neutron. okay so you see that neutron server is there running later we will enable both the DHCP agent and the L3 agent okay in the B, in the B, we are we are launching Packstack from Server A, but we are installing. It's the same configuration we are we were doing in the in the previous session. It's just a controller node and compute node on on Server A and Neutron on Server B. That that's it. Yeah, is that is that is that way? Yeah. Sorry, repeat again. Yes. So I just, 
Yeah, I will. I will check with you later. Okay, so I, I will run and I will check. Uh, okay. Okay. So what we see here, one one of the one of the agents we are going to have in the uh, in the network node is the Open Switch agent. What we are uh, we are working here with is with the Open Switch uh, SDN. Uh, that is the is the SDN that we are going to use uh, below uh, neutral. Okay, so yeah, it's a SDN. Yeah. 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 They they call it SDN for because they they separate be, be, uh, between SDN solution and hardware uh, direct hardware solution the one provided by Cisco or by Arista Networks and so yeah it's not real real SDN there okay so if you see this is uh, this is the you see that the service the AM for Open Switch is running the one for Neutron okay. We see here also that uh, this uh, this agent is using uh, the neutron server is using uh, Cupid. You can see the configuration of the okay as as you see in the. If you are not familiar with with OpenStack, you will see that this is uh, OpenStack. Is all the OpenStack services are quite clean in configuration and in login. You will have everything for a service under slash etc slash the name of the service, and everything for the login of the service under slash bar slash log slash the, the name of the service. So it's, it's similar to Neutron. Okay, if you go to Neutron etc Neutron, you will see that we have everything here. What we are doing here is the is the usual uh, deployment you can find out there in the manuals, how tos, and, and in the OpenStack docs also. Okay, so it's neutral with uh, Open Switch. How do you specify that uh, with the core plugin uh, parameter? Okay, here we are we are setting an OBS. Of course, there are others, uh, Linux Bright. Uh, Preach, uh, uh, as uh, Cisco, Arista Network. There are there are many out there. Okay, so and, and many more to come. Melanox also provides uh, plugins. So if you have uh, expensive hardware, try to contact with your with your hardware provider, uh, your networking hardware provider, and surely they will be able to provide you some uh, some. Uh, to point you to the to the proper plugin for for Neutron, okay? Because most of the of the networking providers right now are developing. Same for storage providers, okay? So if you have NetApp, EMC, uh, Solidfire, uh, whatever, you will you will be able to get those two. Okay. Okay, so. As you see here, we have the, well, I showed you the, the configuration files there. Uh, getting into all the configuration you can do here is, is will, will take us uh, a week or, or two. <laughs> so, well, with, uh, with the, the one pack stack uh, implements when it's deploying, that should work fine, okay? You should, you should be able to have, if you are using VLANs, a production environment. So this is, if you want uh, uh, to do fine tuning, uh, just uh, contact Red Hat, contact us, and, and we will be able to, to help you with that. Okay? I, will all, I would like also to show you the, uh, 
the configuration for the gray belang thing. Okay, so if we go to OBS, Okay. Here, what we have in the, in the slides, we have the configuration that you should have in plugin.ini for a, a VLAN backend, okay? If you are using VLAN in, in Neutron, you should have something like this. What, what do you see here is uh, the network type you are specifying VLAN in gray would be gray. I will show you later the, the gray version of this but you will see that it's quite similar. Also, we specify here the range of VLANs that we are going to use, okay? So we are specifying from 1,000 to 2,000. So if you have a, a, on the service network, the NIC plug in your network node and your compute node to the service network will be plugged to a switch, and in this switch, we will use this range of VLANs in order to create the virtual networks in Neutron, okay? This is where the virtual becomes the, the physical, <laughs> okay? So, as I said before in the previous session, if you are able to get a, a dedicated switch for deploying this, don't try to do this uh, on, on shared environment, on shared switches, and uh, that's, that's mainly. In the, if you go to the server zero, uh, to the server B, your server B, you will see the, the configuration for gray. The important thing here, apart from the, from the internal bridges that uh, uh, are, are being used uh, for gray, is you see that the network time here is gray, and what we define here, instead of uh, defining the VLAN range, we define the, uh, the range of the, of the gray tunnels, so you see one to 1,000, and uh, the IP we are using for creating the gray. So when, when we create the gray, what we do is to, usually, is to have a dedicated network on both the compute nodes, okay, a dedicated NIC on both the compute nodes and the network node, and we create a network there that is called the service network, similar to the VLAN, and what we do here, instead of uh, we, we associate a IP to that NIC. So you just get all the gray tunnels over that IP and those will be uh, all the, uh, I mean, uh, get all the networks in, the, in, in gray so over the NIC, the physical NIC, and those will, will be tunneled to the uh, network node, okay? Well, the important thing you, got, you have to get out of uh, from here is that it's quite similar to set up a grid tunnel or set up a, a VLAN-based uh, neutron. It's just changing some parameters. The only, the only thing you have to care about is just use a dedicated switch. <laughs> the first time you, you deploy this uh, on, uh, on a real environment. And if possible, for, as I said, we have the management network, the service network, and we have the public network. In the service network, if you are going to have a, a quite a lot of traffic between the VMs or with your storage, it's important that you get a, a 10G there, okay? Because if you start to, if you start to get more and more VMs on your environment, for example, 100 or so, you will see decrease on, on performance. So. That's our, those are the main ideas, the main ideas there. Okay. And, and this is the second practice we are going to do. Uh, this is about to show you that uh, it is quite flexible in Neutron to play with agents. So as we saw before, we, we have a, 
uh, OpenV Switch agent, okay? So what, what we are going to show you here is that uh, you are able to stop, start, play, play with them, and move to other, to other nodes. So uh, first, uh, in order to play with uh, whatever, whatever Neutron service, uh, you need uh, credentials. What we are going to get here are the credentials from the for admin on Keystone, okay? These are generated with Packstack. When you run Packstack, you will see that in a slash root, a slash Keystone RC uh, underscore admin, you will have the, the credential for admin for that Keystone instance, okay? So if you don't believe me, you can <laughs> just go it in yourself, okay? If we go here in root, uh, okay, you see here, and if we cut this one, this, uh, this is, uh, uh, you see here that th this is just a way to lock yourself into, into Keystone. You lock as the admin uh, on the admin tenant uh, with the Red Hat, that, that is the password we have set up in Packstack, and against the Keystone service, okay? That is, uh, it's been running, it's been run on, this is the server A. Okay, no, our controller node. So if we source it, we have superpowers, okay? So we can do whatever, whatever we want. Uh, we are the root of OpenStack. So what we are going to do here is to play with a Neutron, okay? So if we run a Neutron, a list, oh, Sorry, I will, I will copy it from server A. That is the idea of the... This is just to show you that you can uh, get the credential for, from whatever, whatever machine and run, and run commands against the APIs of the different OpenStack services. Okay? You, do, you don't need to be on the controller node. You, you can just download this credential to your workstation and, and run against a remote OpenStack environment, any command you want, any admin command you want. Okay, so if we copy this, well, better. Yeah, really, really you copy from the machine where, from where you run a, a pack stack because it's there where it is generated. If you run, for example, you use the laptop in order to run it on remote servers, you will have the, the Keystone RC admin in, the, in your laptop. So it's generated by Packstack on the slash root of, your, of the machine that you are using in order to, to, to run the, the Packstack command. You, can, you, can, you don't need to be on the controller node in order to run Packstack. You can run it remotely just specifying the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is. So, uh, uh, is for you it will be Red Hat, okay? For me it's uh, another one. <laughs> okay, so if we search here, we have, we now have superpowers, so if we run Neutron, you see that we have uh, two agents, two neutron agents running there. Uh, when you run the, new, the neutron command, this is, uh, this is just a client against the server. So if you look for it, it's something like, like this, Py Python neutron client. Okay, you will have something similar for each service. So you will have Python minus Nova client, minus glance client. So these are all these commands. If you want to, for example, play from your laptop instead of going to the server, you can just install these commands, these uh, packages, available in all distributions, but better in Red Hat. And, and you can just uh, run the commands from your, from your laptop, okay, directly. So as you see, we have two uh, agents there, two OpenV Switch agents, one on, on server B and one on server A. The idea there is that, uh, in the, in the network node, our server B, we are going to have an OpenV switch agent running and another one on server A because we have there 
the compute node, okay? What we are going to do right now, just to show you how flexible this is, we are going to disable and remove the, the agent from the compute node that we are able, we should be able to, okay? And later we will recreate that. This is good, for example, if you want to, if you want to move the networks, you have several compute nodes and, and you want to uh, isolate one compute node, you can just stop the agent there and the networks will be uh, managed by the rest of the open switch agents running on the, on the compute nodes, on the other compute nodes, okay? So, first, as you see, uh, we have a, a ID for each agent. So the one we are going to, uh, we are going to work with is the one belonging to the server A, the one associated to the compute node, okay? So we are going to use this ID. You will see that everything on OpenStack has an ID. Uh, virtual machines, ports, networks, subnets, Yeah, that is, that is. So if you run this command, so agent, you will see that there are many, many options available in neutral. Uh, you can see the, uh, the information, more detailed information about that agent. Okay, okay, sorry, agent so. Okay, so you can see here uh, whatever information where the where the agent is, uh, what is the host, ID, and other other additional information there. Okay, what we are going to do is to uh, destroy this uh, this agent. First, we are going to disable uh, the agent. In order to do this, we we run this neutron uh, agent update and set up the state to false to the ID of that, uh, of that open switch agent that is running on the compute node, okay? So, so, so we, we run the command with false to the to the ID we were using before. Okay. And if you, yeah. The issue there is that you will be all the virtual uh, imagine this is a virtual, this is a virtual distributed switch, open me switch. So you have instance of open me switch on open me switch neutral on all the compute nodes and the network. So if you just disable here in one of the compute nodes this agent, you, the other compute nodes will not get affected. So if you for, imagine you, you want to, I don't know, uh, do maintenance, although there are other ways of doing that. <laughs> But if you, if you want to do maintenance of a compute node, you can just move the VMs, disable, disable open switch there, and then stop the, the machine itself, change whatever, and get it up, and enable again the, the agent. That is, is a way to, to play with the, with the, with the open switch. It's true that you can do, with Nova, you can do live migration and that take care of this. But if you want to fine tune there, you can do like this. It will create the port. It will create the port on a compute node. Uh, it will create the port on, uh, yeah, on the, uh, yeah, all the compute nodes, all the agents, all the open switch agents on the compute nodes will be aware of that port. But the one in 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 the in the compute node we are getting down will not be will not be aware of that. That's the 
Yeah, you will have that problem if you have the, a VM running on the on the compute node where you are getting down the, the agent. That's the that's the issue. Okay. So if we run an agent so uh, agent so you see that right now our the admin state of the of the agent is false. Okay, and we can go farther there and uh, go to server A, that is the one we have disabled. If we run, for example, agent list, uh, yeah. You will see that we have uh, the two agents, so we can go farther, just, not just disable, disabling it, as you see with false, we can just go to the to the compute node that we we have and get it, getting it down. Okay, so what we do is service neutron open B switch agent stop. Yeah, it's a typo. Sorry. <laughs> The issue, the issue is that the, if you do that on the network node, it will crash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If what we are doing, uh, what we are doing is to disabling uh, one of the open open switch agents. So if we disable, uh, we disable the the one in the network node, everything will. The network node has the OBS running. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, all, all of them. The, the issue is that the, the ones you have in, uh, the agents you have in, it's like a client server. You have, it's distributed, but it's a client server. You have the, the core, the, the server to say, to say so in the network node, okay? And you, then you have clients on all the compute nodes. So they are querying all the time to the, network, to the OBS instant running on the network node in order to know what the configuration is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need the, it's, it's like having the open B switch software, software running there. So you need, you need that. The issue is at the end you have the, the, the configuration of, of the whole environment is on the network node. So uh, there, there is a database there. So you, you need to, and it, this is very important, you, you need to care quite a lot about that database because this is, this is your life in, 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 a, in a production environment. Okay, so. We have a stop here, the open switch in our compute node. So if, if we go and list, that, that's not good. <laughs> okay, it's, it, it appears, if you see here, as a not happy, okay? This is uh, because it's on a non-healthy non status. So next thing we can do is to delete that uh, agent from neutral. So in order to do that, we delete it with uh, neutron a and delete okay with the id of the of the open open switch agent so it's just a and delete this one okay so if we run a uh, agent list now you will see that the only one we have is the one for our network node okay but this is not permanent change. So if you want to just get back that uh, that uh, that agent, you can just restart, start again the, the OpenB switch agent on your compute, okay? And it will be shown there, okay? This is a way to, although you will see if you, if you start uh, deploying OpenStack environments that you can play with live migration in order to do, uh, to run downtimes on compute nodes when you have a hardware fa failure. This is a way to, instead of going just with the Nova line migration, to be able to play with the networking. If you need at any time to disable networking on a given compute host. Compute host. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's on a, you have, all the configuration is on a database, on the network node. 
that is the backend. Uh, indeed, well, it's, uh, I don't remember the config file right now, but it's something like ETS, uh, uh, plugins, uh, yeah, I think this one is. So here, somewhere, you have a, yeah, you, you see the OBD, OBSDB, that, that is the, the database where all the information about open switch, all the networking uh, you have configured on your environment is, is located. So if you restart uh, uh, open switch on the network node, it will, then the setup you have, it will be recreated. Although it's not recommended <laughs> to do that. Yeah, yeah. Usually, usually with 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 uh, networking hardware providers uh, plugins, they manage everything on the on the switch. So they just make uh, API calls to the to the switch. That's that's the way they they work. Okay. So I think that's that's all for me. So if you have any questions running the 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 workshops, the labs, or any other general question, just let me or any of my colleagues uh, know, and we will provide. Yeah. yeah. No, no, this, these are, yeah, this is open stack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say more dev stack. Yeah. Yeah, it's, what you have right now are many, many deployment tools that deploy the OpenStack services. You can deploy, it, yeah, yeah. You can, you can deploy this. You have the uh, Red Hat, well, several, several repos where, where the, the services are packaged. But you, it's, all, all the services are about a client and a server. So you just, as I said, the Python Neutron client. So you just install this and you can query, well, Install this, get the keystone credentials, and then you can query the the service, the server. The server. I mean, for example, with Neutron, you install Python Neutron client, and you can query the Neutron server. That is, and it's, it's independent. You don't need to install all OpenStack in order to play with the client and the server. You you can just install Neutron and play with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the good thing about OpenStack. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but you can. This this is running against a, a repo, so it's is the RDO repo repository. So so it's you can do it by hand. The good thing about this is that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Installing the package is quite. Uh, this is the right way to do it. You are starting, but. If you are doing it by hand, installing the packages is quite easy. The difficult part is the configuration. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a nightmare, and, and you, usually you have many typos, and it's not a funny thing to do. <laughs> okay, so thanks for attending, and let me know. Thanks. Okay.